It's one of the most exciting product launches of the year in the UK. It is the launch of the Fanta What the Fanta drink, and this is a 2023 version. Let's try it out. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. Here's all the information that you need to know about What the Fanta 2023. Unlike previous years, there is just one flavour in the UK this year. Uh, this matches what they did last year in the United States, and I think they've also done similar things in the versions that they've released in Europe as well, because uh, Europe has actually had some flavours of What the Fanta that we didn't get. Um, they did like a, I think was it a red one? Uh, we did actually review it on the channel. Um, but yes, uh, this is following suit. So there's only one flavour. There's no difference in packaging or anything. Last year there were subtle differences in the colours of the labels. Uh, but just one flavour this year, so just one to get. Uh, it's also more readily available than it's been in previous years. It seems to be having a slightly wider and slightly quicker release. Last year we went on a massive hunt for it when it had been out. Um, and only managed to find it in like a couple of places. Uh, whereas now this is available in more shops. So I actually purchased this from a corner shop. Uh, really lovely guys in there who uh, who are super friendly and always chat to me when I go in there. Um, and I was super excited to find them because they actually had not only the bottles but also the cans as well. Uh, however, you can also get it from B&M. So B&M's uh, B &M Bargains, uh, uh, Bargains and Munters, what some people call it. Uh, also had it in there as well. So they had the bottles so check the uh, sort of bottle aisle it wasn't in the fridge uh, crucial to say uh, and right flavor wise there have actually been some rumors about the flavor already I won't spoil those rumors in this video uh, once I've done this review uh, I'll, I'll try not to let those rumors influence my sort of taste of it um, but once I've done the review, I'll, I'll look up online and see if I can find the definitive answer. And as we've done in previous years, I'll do a sort of, sort of flavour revealed video as well. Um, final thing to say before I actually try it is I think the packaging is absolutely incredible. I love the look of it. E e even just the drink itself, like the purple looks amazing. And I think purple is a great choice. I'm so happy that Coca-Cola um, have brought this back again for another year. And I hope they bring it back next year as well. What color will it be next year? I reckon it might be yellow, like a bright yellow. I know that we've got Icy Lemon Fanta, which is yellow, uh, but I reckon if they did like a bright yellow drink and then maybe like even like a green label or a red label, something striking, I think it will still look different enough on the shelf. So let's try it. <sighs> Very excited for this one because not only, guys, um, have I... I don't even know what I was going to say, not only. I, was, I only have one thing to say uh, specifically to that. And that is that this is apparently the best tasting What the Fanta they've ever done. So um, in the past, they've, they've not been the best. Some of them have been pretty bad. Uh, but apparently this one is pretty good. It is still zero sugar. So let's bear that in mind. But let's go in for our first smell of What the Fanta 2023. Wow, that does smell so much better than the previous year's ones. That really does. So the first immediate thing that hits me is that smells so creamy, like yogurt. It literally just smells like yogurt. Almost like strawberry yogurt, strawberry milk corner. Because it's like it's got like this sweet fruitiness to it. And strawberries, yeah, 100% that smells like strawberry yogurt. Let's pour it into Lil Fracker, the official glass of Food Review UK, to see what colour we are truly dealing with here. Oh man, it is a deep, rich, purple violet. And it looks absolutely lovely. That is a lovely looking soda. Wow, wow, wow. Just look at that. That is awesome. Uh, just more strawberry, actually, when you smell it like that. <sighs> a hint of sort of the yoghurt creamy smell. It's almost like a cream soda. Yeah, it's almost like a strawberry cream soda sort of smell, which smelling that and then looking at it is really odd. It's a brilliant colour. Right, let's give it a go, guys. This is What the Fanta 2023. Mmm. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Mmm. Oh, that's easily the best. Easily the best What the Fanta they've ever done. It's not even close. That is really nice, and actually does taste a lot like the the actual um, the smell of it. Uh, that has just reaffirmed what I thought as well. And actually, it doesn't 
doesn't taste like cream soda, so I'm, uh, I was thinking maybe it might be like strawberries and cream. But it has this, it does have this um, this proper creamy, almost slightly sour yogurty taste to it. It's definitely not, it doesn't taste like cream soda. I was kind of hoping it might taste like a strawberries and cream cream soda, but it's got this punchy fruitiness to it. There is a little hint of the like zero sugar taste, which is largely unavoidable with zero sugar, zero sugar sodas, let's load up for a bit more and uh, make some, some proper, uh, proper assumptions and guesses on what the flavour truly is. Mm. Nice carbonation on there as well, nice and frothy, nice and bubbly. Definitely getting strawberry through there. 100% is some sort of strawberry taste. And it's, yeah, like yogurty, creamy. It's very much like Petit Falou. It's like fromage fray. That's a colour. Uh, fromage fray, Muller Corner. It's totally that, that kind of vibe because it does have this like soury, yogurty taste to it. So it's not like it's not like strawberries and cream. It's not like a strawberries and cream soda or anything like that. It's definitely on this yogurty end. Um, so I would uh, my guess is actually um, strawberry yogurt. Basically, that's what it tastes like to me. It's got the sourness, the tartness, uh, and the creaminess, um, and that's very nice. Uh, in terms of a score, uh, I'm going to rate it based on the flavour, which is the best tasting What the Fanta so far, definitely. Uh, and the packaging is incredible, and just the fact that Fanta and Coca-Cola are continuing to release this this product, which is just so much fun. It's excuse me, it's ma making me gassy. It's making me gassy. Um, yeah, I so massively appreciate that Fanta still continue to release these products. It's super, super fun. Um, I'd give it a very solid four stars. And I think whatever they've changed in their release strategy, getting it into B&M early and getting it released uh, widely as quickly as possible uh, is much better. It, it, it was so frustrating in previous years to make the hunt. Honestly, I was hunting for the blue for so long. Uh, and last year's pink, again, I was hunting uh, relentlessly. I'd actually, I, f I think it was on my birthday treat day to Milton Keynes, where we, I think we went to like, the cinema to see Uncharted. So it was literally this time last year, February. Uh, so yeah, went to cinema to see Uncharted. And we went in probably like 10 or 12, 15 sort of news agents and stuff that I'd plotted out a map to visit them all on this birthday treat day of mine. And we made a last ditch effort and it was literally in the last place that we went. So yeah, that's when we found the pink ones. You can actually watch Theme Park Life to, to watch the adventures of that. But what I'm trying to say is, uh, this is extremely fun and I'm very glad that this wasn't a massive hunt this year. Uh, I found it fairly quickly and without much stress. So thank you very much for watching guys. Do subscribe if you're new because we will do the Flavours Revealed video as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers. I've had my red burger. We love